Hi there, my name's Rowan and I'm from Infinite Energy. Today, we're going to explain how to set up your Feronius online monitoring. Before we get started, you'll need to make sure you have a good internet connection at home and you'll also need to know your network name and password. Let's begin. Now, to start with, you'll need to download the Solar Web app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Okay, well done, you've downloaded the app. Now we need to go to the inverter. On the inverter, there are four buttons, and I'll call these buttons one, two, three, and four, starting from the left-hand side as you look at the inverter. You will have a reading on your screen that your current readout. Underneath the inverter, I want you to press button number three, and this will take us back to the setup or to the main menu of the inverter. We can then use buttons one and two to scroll sideways. It doesn't matter which one you use to go to the setup menu. Once you've got the setup menu, press enter, which is the fourth button. Then select Wi-Fi access point and you use this by using the first two buttons to scroll down. Wi-Fi access point. We use the fourth button, enter. And then we hit enter again to activate. You'll now see that the inverter Wi-Fi access point is now active. We need to go to your smartphone or tablet to connect to the inverter. Now we're ready to set up. I'm using an iPad today, and what we need to do is we need to connect to the inverter. So to do that, I need you to go to the settings on your iPad, and inside settings, I need you to click Wi-Fi. And on the iPad, the Wi-Fi will come up with the network you're already connected to, plus a list of others. Sometimes you need to scan for that. This iPad's selected it automatically. And I look for a network called Feronius. It will be following a number, or a number will be following 240 dot something. That's what you need to select. So select Feronius. Just wait a moment while it connects. It does take a little bit of time. Okay, we're on. Press your home screen. Go back to the iPad and open the app SolarWeb. And when you open the app, it's going to ask you, would you like to start the setup wizard? The answer is, yes, I do. So click yes. It will then give you an option to either set up as a technician or just set up the wizard. Please select the wizard. Here, you'll be asked to fill in a number of items, starting with the system name, and you can call that whatever you like. We usually prefer a surname and then the system size, so it's easy to find. You'll also be asked for a tariff rate, a date and time, please make sure that's correct, uh, and a location. Once that's filled in, press forward. Okay. The next page is to do with the inverter. So it will come up with the device type, saying either a three or a five or an eight kilowatt Primo, Simo, whichever the inverter is that you have. It will have the device name, and then there'll be a blank section saying PVWP. Now that stands for the solar and the amount of watts that is on your roof. So if you have a three kilowatt system, you would need to enter in 3,000, okay, or typically they're around 6.6 .6 kilowatt si systems, you would need to put in 6,600. I'm putting in 6,600. I'm leaving the device name as the preset, which this one is a Feronius Primo 3. I'm just leaving that. I've put in my watt power and I've pressed forward. If you don't know the watt power of your array, 
simply put in zero or an arbitrary number and we can come back and fix it later. Okay, next is the network setup. There'll be a disclaimer come up on the screen that you'll need to accept to progress. Okay, so click that. On the left hand side of the screen now you'll have options of how to connect the inverter. Today we're doing it via WLAN. This is the second option and it says solar.web via WLAN. Make sure that's connected. Next, we'll be doing the connection to your network. So on the right hand side, there'll be a list of networks that are available. You should be able to find yours there. If you can't, press the refresh button so the, the inverter can try and find it. Once you've found it, select your network so it's highlighted and then press set. When you press set, it'll open up another dialog box to enter in the password. So enter in your password. Before you press save, there is a button underneath saying show password. Make sure you do that and confirm your password because the Feronius system will accept an incorrect password and so you can keep progressing even though you've got an incorrect password entered. So once I've done that, I'm going to press save. Now my network has come up and it says saved in blue. I've done that, I then press connect. Okay, now you press connect, we just go on to the network status page and what we're looking for here is under the internet tab to say available, yes. If it's not connected, it's going to say no. So we've got a yes here and we press forward down the bottom right hand corner. Once again, allow a bit of time for this to happen. It is trying to connect the inverter to the network via an app, so it does take a bit of time. Just be patient. Okay, the next screen is passwords. Uh, the default username is admin, it can't be changed. Uh, we recommend quite a straightforward password here and make sure you write it down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do solar123, all in lowercase. It's nice and straightforward and I press forward. You must enter a password to progress. Okay, now your inverter is connected to the internet. We're going to make sure you can see it on your iPad. So first of all, what I need you to do is to go back to your home screen, go back to settings, to Wi-Fi and make sure your tablet or iPad is connected to your home network. So just make sure that's done. And the other thing you'll need is your username and password that was set up on your introductory email that we sent to you before installation. So make sure you have that handy. Okay, so yeah, tablets on your home network. We've opened up the Solar Web app. Now on the iPad in the bottom right hand corner it says settings so you need to select that. The top right hand corner of the dialog box that opens there is a word saying demo mode. Press that. That will open up a new dialog box again and in there you will put in your username and password. Your username is the email address and your password is obviously the password you set up and then you press log in. On an Android uh, phone or tablet on the top left hand corner there is usually a menu and you select that and just press log in and that will take you to a similar screen. And so once you've done that and you've logged in your app will be connected and you'll be able to see your solar production.